The Durban International Film Festival is a global showcase with a focus on films from the continent, those produced by Africans in the diaspora and of African descent. One of the most popular films at this year's festival is a documentary, I Am Here, directed by Geordie Sank. When my children asked me, what was the scar in my arm? I wouldn't talk about my suffering and fight for survival. I said, it was an accident. An incredible story about 99-year-old Cape Townian Ella Blumenthal, who shares her story of surviving the Holocaust. Some of Ella's memories include surviving three concentration camps and avoiding death. One of the most exciting documentaries that we have on the film festival this year is I Am Year, a superb South African documentary on the life of Ila Blumenthal, a surviving uh, Holocaust, uh, or rather a, a Holocaust survivor. Uh, her, her story is about forgiveness, it's about reconciliation, uh, it's, it's about how one embraces life, uh, how one reflects on the past but doesn't get stuck in the past and moves beyond that. It's a story for our time, it's a story for young people, it's a story for future generations and we're incredibly grateful to the filmmakers for choosing to tell Ila's story and I think everyone is possibly right when they say Ila is the South African woman Nelson Mandela. We're seeing that spirit of reconciliation and forgiveness right through her life. Another popular film on the circuit is Zinda, in the town of Zinda in Niger. A group of youth try to break free from violence and gang warfare. Director Aisha McKay, who hails from Zinda, films their daily lives divided between gangs and their families. <laughs> and exploring the tales of hardships in refugee camps were also highlighted. A film of survival at a refugee camp. The Last Shelter depicts the stories of migrants in Gayo, Mali, on the southern edge of the Sahara Desert. This documentary recently won an award at the Encounters South African International Documentary Festival. The two main characters, Esther and Caddy, Two teenage girls from Burkina Faso share a bond over their hardships. Organizers say the number of viewers purchasing films online has increased significantly since last year. We've been incredibly fortunate this year that we've had an increase in the number of people watching uh, the Durban International Film Festival. Uh, we had a very successful festival last year and, and this year our numbers have also grown. And part of that is I think, largely due to the awareness created by our brand and communications manager uh, Marlene Knoll, who's just incredibly connected with the film sector but also with audiences. The other is just the range of films that have attracted an audience and kept them engaged throughout the festival. The curtain comes down on the festival this weekend. Jade Paulser, SABC News, Durban. I never